Hello friends, myself Dr. Mona Lisa. Now I am discussing the anatomy questions of abdomen, pelvis, lower limb and embryology from the recent test which you have given. Now the question number first which I will discuss is the marked structures in the image is formed by which of the following muscle? Here this is the marked structure which they are asking about. Now the marked structures in the image is formed by which of the following structure? Option A is external oblique muscle. Option B is internal oblique muscle, option C is transverse abdominis muscle or option D none of the above. Now firstly let us identify the structure. Now here in this diagram the marked structure is inguinal ligament. This structure is actually inguinal ligament. Now we have to know how this inguinal ligament is formed. Before that I would like to know the important structures which you can see here. This is the spermatic cord. This green color structure is the spermatic cord. This is femoral artery. This is femoral nerve. vein, femoral vein, the blue structure is the femoral vein and this is anterior superior iliac spine. I have written in short form ASIS means anterior superior iliac spine. Now, now here this is ASIS and this part is the pubic tubercle. This bony structure is the pubic tubercle. As we have already discussed, this structure is the inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament extends from, extends from ASIS pubic tubercle and it is formed by lower free margins of external oblique muscle. muscle aponeuroses which actually rolled upon and formed the inguinal ligament. Now as we can see here there is one another structures as I have mentioned here this can be the spermatic cord in males or round ligament in females. So this hole this this opening is actually superficial inguinal ring this is superficial inguinal ring. Now, superficial inguinal ring, superficial inguinal ring is a triangular gap or opening in external oblique aponeurosis muscle, aponeurosis of the muscle from where the ilioinguinal nerve, two structures emerge through it. First structure is ilioinguinal nerve and the second structure is spermatic cord as in males but if it is a case of female it will be round ligament and this structure transverses through the, traverses through the inguinal canal. Now Coming to the question as I have already discussed all the structures which you can see in the image. The question was identify the marked structures. Now as you have identified anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle. So the connecting part between the anterior superior iliac spine and that of this bony part this is the pubic tubercle is inguinal ligament and as I have discussed this inguinal ligament is formed by the muscle external oblique muscle from the free margin of external oblique muscle so option A is the correct answer. Now come to next question.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ट्रायंगल ऑफ डूम बाउंड्रीज ऑप्शन ए इज वॉज डिफरेंस मीडियली गोनाडल वर्सेस लैटरली पेरिटोनियल फोल्ड इनफीरियरली ऑप्शन बी इज वॉज डिफरेंस लैटरली गोनाडल वेसल्स मीडियली पेरिटोनियल फोल्ड इनफीरियरली ऑप्शन सी इज वैज डिफरेंस मीडियली इलियक वेसल्स लैटरली एंड पेरिटोनियल फोल्ड इंटीरियरली ऑप्शन डी इज वॉज डिफरेंस लैटरली इलियक वेसल्स मीडियली पेरिटोनियल फोल्ड इंटीरियरली नाउ कम टू दिस डाइग्राम इन दिस डाइग्राम दिस ट्राइंगुलर एरिया विच यू आर सींग दिस होल ट्राइंगुलर एरिया विच यू आर सींग इज triangle of doom this is triangle of doom this is triangle of doom now this triangle of doom apex is formed by this is the apex region which is formed by deep inguinal ring which is formed by deep inguinal ring now this has got two boundaries lateral medial and inferior so its medial boundary this is the medial part and this is the lateral part so medially it is formed by vas deferens medial boundary is the vas deferens and laterally this structures which you can see is the gonadal vessel laterally it is formed by this structure is the gonadal vessel inferiorly there will be peritoneal fold so inferiorly is peritoneal fold so we have described the triangular area medially vas deferens laterally gonadal vessel these are gonadal vessels and inferiorly is the peritoneal fold apex is at the level of deep inguinal ring now let's discuss the content of the triangle of doom now for the content as we have described the boundary i will only discuss the content in the content three important structure is there now the structure which you are seeing with the red color structure here this is the external iliac artery now the other structure which is in the blue is the external iliac vein so the first constituent is external iliac artery second is external iliac vein and the third content is here with the yellow color this is the genital branch of genito femoral nerve so this is the third constituent so three important contents are external iliac vessels means that contains external iliac artery external iliac vein and third is genital branch of genito femoral nerve now come to the question triangle of doom boundary is l as i have already described vas deferens is lying medially laterally is the gonadal vessel and inferiorly is the peritoneal fold so vas deferens medially gonadal vessels laterally and peritoneal fold this is option a is the right answer and the content of triangle of doom is external iliac artery vein and genital branch of genito femoral nerve now what is the clinical importance of this triangle is that this this is important for groin hernia repair means laparoscopically we have to up the surgeons approaches through this area this triangle of doom to repair gro groin structures or the groin hernia now question next question Which of the following muscle do not take part in formation of marked structure? Option A is external anal sphincter. Option B is bulbospongiosus muscle. Option C is superficial transverse perine muscle, and D is ischiocavernous. Now, in this question, the marked structures, this yellow color structure, which is marked in this image, is perineal body. This structure is perineal body. now firstly i would like to describe what is this perineal body now here in this diagram as i have already marked the perineal area this is the perineal body this perineal body is centrally located in perineum and 
this is a fibromuscular nod nodal structure where 10 muscles of perineum interlaces now come to next diagram I would like to name the muscles which are interlacing to form the perineal body now altogether I told you 10 muscles of them two are unpaired muscle and four are paired so altogether they form 10 muscles now the two unpaired muscle here are two unpaired muscles which is forming the perineal body first is external anal sphincter this is external anal sphincter muscle so this muscle which is uh, encircling here this muscle which is encircling around the anal opening is external anal sphincter this muscle is external anal sphincter the other muscle which we can't see in this diagram which is also forming the second unpaired muscle is longitudinal muscle of rectum and anal canal now there are four paired muscle which is also interlacing in the perineal body they are following first one is there are two which we can see here these two muscles this muscle is bulbospongiosus muscle this is bulbospongiosus muscle so on either side here I will mark in this diagram this two muscle which is going and interlacing towards this perineal body this is the bulbospongiosus the first muscle is this now the other muscle which we can see here interlacing now I will mark this perineal body by another color let us mark it by this is the perineal body now here the other muscle which is also inter two in pair this is superficial transverse muscle this is superficial transverse perine muscle so this is the second pair muscle another muscle which is also shown in this diagram which is interlacing towards this perineal body this is the third pair of the muscle this is the levator ani muscle this is levator ani muscle so three pairs means six three pairs which we have which i have three pairs as shown in diagram forms the six together six muscle so we have left with another two pair which is not shown here because that muscle is lying deep to the superficial transverse perineal muscle that pair is deep transverse perineal muscle so all this muscle is leading to the formation of perineal body now once more here the structure which is here this is the pubis bone and here you can see this muscle which is going towards this pubis bone which is attaching to this pubis bone and not going towards this perineal body this muscle is ischio cavernous muscle this is ischio cavernous muscle and this ischio cavernous muscle is not interlacing to perineal body so coming to the question which of the following muscle do not take formation of perineal body first is external anal sphincter yes as i have already discussed two unpaired muscle which is interlacing in the perineal body is external anal sphincter and the other is longitudinal muscle coat muscle of the rectum and the anal canal 
Now, bulbo sponges, yes, it is the one of the paired muscle which is interlacing to the perineal body. Superficial transverse perine muscle along with deep transverse perine muscle is also leading into form the fibromuscular node that is perineal body. Ischiocavernous muscle which is here in this diagram, this muscle is the ischiocavernous muscle which is not going and forming or interlacing towards this perineal body. So, option D is the right answer.